Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I organize things in my pantry and my larder. Now, they are behind me in the kitchen in the corner here. This is the cupboard that we call the larder. Um, this used to have the hot water tank in and we call it the larder to differentiate between it and the pantry. The pantry is the one in the corner here with the double doors. So, I will show you what I keep in there and how I organize it. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. Starting with the top shelf, I have entertaining platters, like divided plates and things that I only use when I'm entertaining. I have a couple of glass cake stands, a random extra wine glass, some pie dishes that I use occasionally but not that often, some cake stands, these are big square plates that I only use for entertaining. These are pop-up fly covers, like food covers that protect the food from flies that we'll be using loads in the summer so I may move them but at the moment we don't use them so they're going at the top. Next shelf, this thing on the side is one of these fabric tubes. I just sewed that up. A fabric tube with elastic at the top and bottom and that holds plastic bags and that just hangs on a hook. Um, on the left there I have containers, four containers containing adults medicine, children's medicine, allergy and asthma medicine and vitamins and supplements. Um, these containers were from the warehouse and the brand is Cuisine Queen. Then I have some canning jars um, and some tomato relish that I've canned. Straws, red lentils, quail lentils, my little snack balls that were a gift from a friend. Um, and then over here I have this tiered rack that I got from an op shop or thrift store and that just has ramekins and little jugs and things that I use when I'm entertaining. These are the next two shelves. These are also Cuisine Queen containers that I got from the warehouse. Now, the containers above there are long and they're stacked one above the other, and these are taller and they're stacked one in front of the other. My rule for doubling up things is two only. If you have to move two things to get to a third at the back or at the bottom of the pile, it becomes a bit clumsy and it's a bit of a hassle to put things away. So. I don't mind if there's just two things, but more than that doesn't usually work. So behind these, there's a second row of containers. So the ones in front contain cereal bars, chocolate chips, cocoa, crackers. The ones behind contain various rices, white rice, brown rice, basmati rice, and risotto rice. On the left, I have coconut, muesli, oats, and rice porridge, which is the one that I can eat. And then behind that, I have coarse salt, cornmeal and jam setting sugar, which are things I use much less frequently. The two jars hold almonds and biltong, which is a dried meat, like a South African thing. The rack in the corner is a plate stacking rack that I also got at a thrift store, and that holds my digital scales, um, a glass pie dish, and my baking beans are just tucked in underneath. On the right here, um, I have a jar of dark chocolate, Daniel enjoys that, and behind that is a jar of caro, which is like a hot drink, like a cereal beverage. And then I'll just move this so that you can see next to the plastic containers there I have extra bags of flour. My flour is stored in containers like that, up on the shelf in the kitchen, um, which I'll show you in a minute. The next shelf down has a basket and that's full of baking goodies. So that has things like vanilla extract, baking soda, baking powder, sprinkles, things like that. Um, next to that is a container of wheat mix, a glass bowl, a round tray in the corner that holds onions. And then I've got these little shelf stackers. These contain Pyrex baking dishes. There's only one lid between the two of these. These two, I put one lid at the bottom and one at the top. And then there, you can see next to the basket, we have mini chopping boards. So this is the next shelf down. This is the first of the deeper shelves. On the left there, I have cutting boards. This container holds my motion blender and the cable. This little cupcake container has sugar in it. Our water bottles get lined up at the back there. There's two missing, must be in the car. This tray, also from the warehouse, that has sweet potatoes and potatoes in it. I've got my butter dish. This has all kinds of spreads and syrups, so peanut butter, chocolate spread, this has cinnamon in to sprinkle on things, maple syrup, molasses, that kind of thing. And then this little crate over here holds 
um, vitamins and medications that we're using daily. So any kind of supplements or if somebody's ill and they're taking cough mixture every day, whatever, that will go into there. I like that there's kind of open space here. So if I have baked something, it can just go into the pantry or there's space for somebody to put their bowl while they're putting cereal in, that sort of thing. The next shelf down is also a deep one. This basket contains snacks, so crackers, chips, this jar of raisins, that kind of thing goes into there. I have the big dispenser of plastic wrap and a spare. This basket has things like parchment paper, foil, Ziploc bags, icing bags, those kind of things. Right at the back there you can see clean oven mitts. This basket is currently empty, it normally holds two minute noodles but we don't like the boys to have that too much because if they're in the house that's all they'll eat and they're not all that good for you. In this basket I have cereal. Um, this cereal comes in a bag but even the cereal that comes in a box, I pull the bag out of the box, put a clip on it and put it into there and it just it's easier to organize things if they're just tossed into the basket. And then this basket just holds bread and rolls. Okay, this is the bottom shelf. Now, our pot drawer was always a disaster. It was always a mess and things were just stacked in each other and it was a nightmare to get anything out. So, I made this little stand out of spare wood that we had. So, that holds my biggest pot, the big universal pot lid and our big frying pan. So, they're just easy to grab now and our pot drawer stays organized. I have a tall glass container with spaghetti. That basket at the back has things like individual pie dishes and salad dressing bottles and ramekins and things that are used very seldom but when I want them it's nice to be able to grab them they're not too tucked away. This basket has tiny little containers and lids so when you take a little container of salad dressing or raisins or something in a packed lunch those are the containers I'll reach for. I've got four baskets here. This one has extra corn flour and rice flour and odds and ends that I very seldom use. This one it has jars again of things that I very seldom use like carob and couscous and coconut sugar. This one has four jars of corn flour, gravy powder, chicken stock cubes and beef stock cubes. And then this one has apple cider vinegar, malt vinegar, white vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. And then on the floor in front of it we have our toasting machine. That's the only place it would fit and we use it so often that it's convenient just to leave it there for the kids to grab. So that's an overview of the pantry. Okay, moving on to the larder. As I mentioned before, this entire cupboard was taken up by the hot water tank. You can still see the cutout of the shelf from the piping. Um, but we switched to gas hot water and so now we've freed up an entire cupboard. The top shelf at the back I've got a serviette holder and serviettes or napkins. We usually use cloth napkins but if I'm entertaining then I will sometimes get that out if it's a big crowd. Uh, at the back there I have foil pie dishes or foil food dishes. Um, those are handy if I'm baking something for Grant to take to work then he doesn't have to worry about bringing a dish home or if I'm giving a gift of baking to somebody, I can just do it in that. And then at the front I've got large plastic containers and this is if I'm taking baked goods to somebody or, you know, cupcakes or whatever, I have big dishes to fit those into. Next shelf down, in the front I have my Pampered Chef mixing bowl and my huge glass mixing bowl. At the back I have my iron, I have some other mixing and serving bowls. And then this is the blue jug that was my grandmother's that I mentioned in my Gathering Dust collab video that I hardly ever used. I've moved it down into this cupboard and it's much easier to get to and so now I actually use it. The next shelf down as you can see holds glassware glasses and little glass bowls and these are actually votive holders but we use them for all kinds of things, little dips and sauces and whatnot. So that's on that shelf. On the left there you can see my food scoops. I just put little nails into the wall and I can hang them. So that I use for cupcakes, that I use for cookies, these also use for cookies. They're very handy and that is how I store them. Um, and then beneath that we have a shelf of canned goods that we use often. So tinned tomatoes, baked beans, coconut cream and tinned fruit. 
Moving down, on the left here I have a shower caddy. Now this is one of those things you hang in the shower and organize your shampoo bottles and things. I was actually storing my hand mixer in there and then the beaters on there, but of course my mixer's now broken, so that's why it's empty. This is just a little food cover. It's, it pops open like an umbrella. On the next shelf I have my big crock pot and big bowls that we use all the time for food or for serving dishes. This slip-on shelf contains placemats, tea towels and microfiber cloths. On the shelf below I've got a plastic container full of aprons and there are my hand towels so that's how my aprons are folded. And on the left there you can see I've hung my sieve just on a nail on the wall. Please excuse the vibration noise. The washing machine's doing the spin cycle and the bottles are rattling. On the bottom shelf I have my stand mixer, a blender, bread machine at the back and then this is my little basket that I use to harvest food out of the garden. To maximize the storage I've also used the back of the door. So at the top I have my mini colander that I use to drain and rinse tinned fruit. This hanging wire basket has sunblock in the left there which we use in the summertime in the garden and then it has cleaning cloths folded into the right. Below that I have some spice racks that I got at the warehouse and screwed to the shelf. Each one is two tiers and then I got the bottles from the dollar store and they hold herbs and spices. I've got bigger jars at the bottom there for curry powder and cayenne pepper and bay leaves and then just some extras, Jamaican seasoning and pepper at the bottom. So here is an overview of the larder. I mentioned that I keep our flour and dry goods elsewhere and this is where I keep them. These are the shelves on the side of the kitchen. At the top I have a big drinks dispenser, jug, vases, cake stands, those sort of things that I use occasionally but not often. On the shelf down, more of these containers from the warehouse, the Cuisine Queen ones, and they hold dry goods. They hold fondant, bread flour, regular cupcake cases, mini cupcake cases, rice pasta, icing sugar, sugar, brown sugar, plain flour, self-raising flour, pasta and oatmeal. And they're just handy to grab and I think they look alright on the shelf, they're not untidy. And then on the shelf below I've got a basket full of eggs. Yes, we keep our eggs out of the fridge because in New Zealand they don't rinse the eggs so it's safe to keep them out of the fridge. A basket full of fruit and then this little chicken wire basket that I made also with fruit. Those bananas look a bit ripe, I think I need to make banana bread. Here's a better view of the labels. I make these labels in a program called Quark Express, print them out, cut them up and laminate them and then I just stick them on with hot glue. It's easy to pop them off and replace them if I need to. It doesn't leave any sticky residue behind. So that's just a little extra in addition to our pantry and larder. And then the last place we store food is in this little cabinet in the corner of the dining room. We have extra canned goods and sauces and mayonnaise and things. This holds my medication for the week. I pull that out when I lay out my medicine for the week. Um, extra supplements and medication. This is full of hot drinks, different teas and hot chocolate and coffee sachets and things like that for guests. We don't drink coffee but our guests do. Uh, more hot drinks there, extra box of tissues. And then this basket has packets like drink mixes and gravy powder and that sort of thing. And then these two containers hold extra odds and ends that I very seldom use like cream of tartar and glucose syrup and gelatine and odds like that that I will sometimes need for recipes but not very often. I hope you enjoyed that little peek into my pantry and larder. If you have any questions just leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.